Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1972, Mercury, Cougar, GT, we now have her in the shop, and we have started getting to work on her. That is the strut cross member, the strut bar cross member. Your strut bars go in right over here, and right over here, and then it's welded to the actual frame. Okay, so now that we have her up in the air, you can see what we're talking about on this is the cross member for the struts. This is the strut support right here. And you can see how badly rotten it is. Um, that's just a little bit. All down here, we're starting to get some holes through here. It's getting real thin in this area here, back in here. It's starting to separate between the upper and the lower sections of it. And I'll show you on this. So this is the upper section and this is the lower section. And the rust is building in between each of these sections and starting to separate it out. So we are going to have to finish taking everything we need to out of here. Then we'll take the struts off of the lower control arms and then out of here on both sides and we'll start cutting all of this out. It's all welded in and you can see the weld here, you can see a little bit of weld there. So all of this has to come out. This, these spot welds have to be drilled out. Spot welds on the back side have to be drilled out and on the top, it'll have to be cut the weld. So there is quite a bunch that goes on to replace this. It's not a simple and easy task to do this. Um, and you can even, eh, it's kind of hard to see from all the way back here, but you can see it right there. That is the strut and that is where it attaches to the lower control arm. And so we're gonna start cutting all that out, getting it all set up, but what a nice car this is. Is this not just a beautiful car? Look at how clean it is underneath this car. It's absolutely gorgeous. He takes such good care of this car. He, and it gets driven. It's not a, um, a queen. You know, it's not a trailer queen. It is a car that is driven and it's driven quite often. So, it's really nice. We have a little bit of leak in the rear end here, but it's nothing that can't be fixed or can't be taken care of at some time. But right now, we're just going to start doing that, get that all done. There really is no other really bad rust under this car. That is the only real rust under this car. It's so beautiful under here. It's so nice to see cars like this. So there's the new piece. Like I said, we're gonna have to cut all of this on the, uh, on the car. This here is gonna have to get cut out. Then this gets welded in right up in here. So there's quite a bit that has to be done to get this fixed. And you can see right here is really thin. You can feel it and you can see right here where somebody's done something there. Not 100% sure what's going on there. So there you go. That's what's going to be getting done here. All righty, guys, have fun. I will keep you up to date as we go. <laughs> and we will look in because we now have the fan out, um, the, the fan shroud and everything like that. It's all out. And you can see right here where that strut goes in there and that strut bar goes in there. You got your rubbers and your washer. And this is what we are replacing. And the reason for it, it is rotten. And if you give me a minute, I will bring it up in the air and I'll show you. Because we still have some more we're pulling out. We're going to be taking the battery out and the battery tray. We're hopefully not going to have to take the, the uh, power steering pump out. We should be able to leave that in. But we do have to get the radiator out and we have to take the transmission lines, the cooling lines out. So we still have some more that has to come out of here. So just give me a second, I'll put it up in the air and I'll show you what we're doing. Hang on, be right back. 